Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Co-Elevation Realty, and I'm standing on the second level of 31 Bromel Avenue. Here we are in Baby Point, uh, which is a lovely West End community on the shores of the Humber River, and a hop, skip, and a jump to uh, Jane and Bloor Subway Station, and this fantastic neighborhood is very exclusive, lots of gorgeous, gorgeous renovated homes. Um, also, you know, you have the option of being a part of the uh, neighborhood, it's called the Baby Point Club. Um, it's a lawn bowling and a tennis club and a social club and it's really neat for the neighborhood. And uh, if you've got kids, uh, there's a fantastic school. Humbercrest is only, um, it goes up to grade eight and it's only a couple blocks away and it's got a full French immersion program. And I'm not giving you much on the house. So basically we are in the primary bedroom uh, this is the beautiful ensuite, total king sized, and uh, you know it's got the double uh, vanities and a beautiful walk-in shower with multiple shower heads, rain shower, all that kind of good stuff. This is totally turnkey, um, amazing, beautiful, and uh, this little closet over here, it uh, it's not so little after all. It's actually quite spacious. You'll see. Look at that nice walk-in closet. Tons of space. This is such a nice, um, you know, it's such a, a rare opportunity. It's got lots of charm and character. Uh, it was built in 1984, so it's got lots of uh, also amenities that you didn't get from the older homes that were built in like 1910 or 1915. So this is the family bath on the second floor. So there's two full baths up here. And of course the tub is always helpful if you've got kids. It's got multiple uh, linen closets. That's sort of nice. And another one over here. Don't you love these videos? You get to see it all. And there you go. That's a nice, big, spacious one. And uh, so we've got two bedrooms also up here. So it's a three plus one, uh, which means there's three bedrooms on the second floor and one in the lower level. Beautiful windows that uh, are quite new. And you can see it look overlooks the, uh, the lovely landscaped yard and make sure you see the first video i also did of the main level and the walk out to the back so again lots of closet space that's another one of the many benefits of having a newer slightly newer build um where you get more closet space you get better ceiling height and uh, this is very solid and it's been completely gutted and renovated uh, since it was built in 84 and it was actually built by the builder who built it for his own family. Uh, so that also means that they went a little bit above and beyond what you normally would. And again, there's the third bedroom, third closet. So I'm gonna sneak you down into the lower level. I love this two-story foyer. This is a nice big landing, nice wide staircase. Uh, very pretty, lots of natural light coming through and just has sort of an elegant grand sort of feeling and uh, again check out the other video but there's the living room kitchen dining room and the fabulous foyer and uh, so now we're going into the lower level and lots of benefits here too so one is the separate side entrance so you can walk out here and you can see front to the front and to the back and it's a fully fenced yard back there but what's really nice about this is you know, if you've got older kids who are still living at home, they might like their own separate area. So you could convert this into a kind of separate area for, for that purpose. Um, so that's that separate entrance. Uh, you know, if you've got uh, a nanny, you wanted to convert that, this area into that. There's lots of options. Um, and uh, so another nice benefit is the ceiling height is pretty good down here. And you can't see it here. Actually, I will do a quick walk out. Sorry, repeating myself here, but I thought this would be helpful to show you that there is a window on this side. It's hidden on the other side, uh, but that is in case you wanted to put in a bathroom because there has been a bathroom. All the plumbing has been roughed in uh, for this area to be converted into a bathroom if you would like. So again, using lots of uh, useful space here. They've got a little library storage, that kind of good stuff. And again, another closet and a full laundry area and a nice sink built in. And again, more storage, 
which is really good, especially when you have a fin finished basement, it's nice to have extra storage areas. And there's a cedar lined closet and that's sort of under the front stairs. And uh, nice to have folding space, separate space. This house is immaculate. It's just in gorgeous condition. This is the garage I'm gonna show it to you next. Um, and here is the furnace room. This is forced air gas furnace and central air conditioning and a nice big window overlooking the back. And, um, and here's the recreation room slash fourth bedroom, whatever you need for your family or purposes or use. And of course, it could be home office. Who knows what you, you're thinking, but uh, lots of options here. They obviously use this area as their home office. So, and then this is the piece de resistance. Imagine being able to walk in from outdoors. You can drive right into this oversized single garage. And hey, you miss the snow, you miss the rain. You know, you're packing your kids, your family up, the car up, uh, very convenient or, uh, you know, I mean, a built-in garage is such a bonus. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. Check it out.